What's up everybody, my name is Tony and I'm here with another Warframe Guide video and in this video we're going to be looking at Umbra Equinox Prime. Now, for those of you that, that know about Equinox, mostly you guys will be using the MAME build, I, I believe, or MAN, the one with the slash damage basically. So I'm pretty sure you guys will be using that or using your fourth ability and just uh, releasing it or, 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 or release, yeah, release the charges on that and just kill everybody. But I have three builds here. One build will be the one you guys will be commonly commonly using, and that is the main build. The second build will be the AFK uh, build, which is basically um, if you're going to be like, uh, let's say you want to play Shazen during a mission. Well, you can actually do that with this build. So I'm going to show you guys that. Uh, the third build would be the um, Mand and the main build. So basically, we'll be using both forms. Um, it's a bit complicated, so I will try to... Uh, I'll be able to go a little bit easier on an explanation, but overall, you guys should be fine. So let's go ahead and take a look at the DPS build or the main build that everyone's going to be using. So I recommend using this build on exterminate or capture missions, as it will instantly kill everything. Um, probably lift to Neos would uh, would actually be helpful here. So it's actually faster than any Warframes at all that that kills or clears rooms fast or anything like that. Yeah, really. So again, this build can clear rooms pretty fast. Um, so I have Arcane Angites here. Definitely, you guys definitely want to have this. I have Arcane Guardian for this as well. Uh, you guys can put whatever Arcanes you want for replacement of Guardian. Uh, whatever you guys want. So, I have Peaceful Provocation. This is the augment mod you guys need. The reason being is because it reaches up to like, what, 80%, I believe? Or extra 15 uh, extra ability strength. So, basically around like 75% or 80. I forgot what, what the number was. I haven't played this uh, uh, Equinox Prime for a while now. So, I think this is pretty good for the extra 15%. Um, uh, so I think 65%, somewhere around 60 to 5, 75, I believe. So again, you know, this is, um, a pretty good mod. You guys got to grab this. So the way you want to use this build with the peaceful, uh, provocation is, um, you want to cast this first. Now, obviously you have growing power with energy conversion. So, uh, I will show you how, uh, when to cast it before you cast your four, your fourth ability. So, um, if you cast it right now. Okay, you got 50%, right? So basically, you should be good to go. All you gotta do now is do damage to enemies and such. Right? Until it gets around 80, I believe. I might need to spawn some more enemies here. Let's get some more enemies real fast. Oh my lord. Let me just do this one here. Okay, so it's around 80%. So it caps at 80%. So you basically get 80% ability strength extra. And then once you get that, then you cast your four, your fourth ability, which is Man and Man. And then at this point, you'll start to get charges like crazy. So I'm going to show you guys right now. So around, or you already got 9,000 damage already. I mean, yeah, 9,000 uh, damage. Keep going, keep going. So you're already at 200,000 just by a few kills. Uh, depending on the HP, I believe, but 400,000 already. This, at this point, you should be able to kill a level 100 plus if you release it. And, of course, you rinse and repeat. Never turn off your, your third ability. Just keep turning on your fourth ability. Alright, so this is the basic common strategy. Now, obviously, if you're doing low levels, you don't have to use the third ability. Because uh, at this point, with the drain, with the drain, um, you drain pretty fast. So just press your four and you should be able to kill everything pretty quickly without even, without even trying. Uh, once you uh, get enough energy, you can always press or uh, use your third ability, which is Peaceful Provocation, whatever it's called, and then uh, go from there. So I will do a demo for that. In fact, I will do demo for all three of these builds. So this video is going to be pretty long. I also have, uh, I will probably put some timestamps for you guys uh, for this build or for this video. So timestamps, all right? So keep an eye, keep an eye on that. Uh, so next build here would be the Shazen build. Now, obviously, this is a little bit uh, different. So for, for the DPS real quick, Notice I have negative duration, uh, negative efficiency. This is made for exterminate slash capture, okay? Remember that. Capture and exterminate only because those missions are pretty fast. Um, so if you're doing fissures, yeah, this will kill everybody. Now for Shazen, um, at this point for Shazen, this would not, this would actually uh, also work in capture and exterminate, but not as effective as DPS uh, build right here. So the Shazen build basically, basically is made for defense or interception, but mostly defense. 
Now the way I use this, okay, would be to the point where if you cast your peaceful provocation on this one, or actually let me try that again. Let me actually uh, reset. Let me, I don't want energy conversion here. Actually, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and use energy conversion. Might as well. So you definitely need energy conversion if you're gonna be uh, casting this. If you don't use energy conversion, that's what you get. You get 40%, and obviously you will be around 70% uh, ability strength capped if you don't use energy conversion. So make sure you actually uh, proc energy conversion. That way you get 50%. Now, I believe I have growing power too, so you can also use growing power as well. So if I go ahead and get a proc going right here, and cast it, <clears throat> I get 45%. Uh, it's 25% difference, so you know it's really quick. You want to use that. Otherwise, just use uh, engine conversion uh, instead and just proc that, and you get 50%. All right. So uh, again, you know, once you cast your three, then you guys can go ahead and press your four and look at the drain amount. The drain amount is pretty pretty little, so you could literally stand there, sit around, and just just wait and just let them get kills and shit. So obviously, you don't want to do this on high level. So probably like around lift to neo should be fine. Now, there is, there is a trick to actually increase your ability strength by double the time. So this obvious is only great for fissures. And how to do that is basically got to get corrupted on your Warframe. If your Warframe gets corrupted by picking up 10 Void Traces, you get that double range and double um, strength on that, right? So that will last forever as long as you keep your fourth ability on. Okay? So don't never turn it off. Never release the charges to do massive damage unless you absolutely have to. So always keep it on when you get that corrupted, and then just press your four. So uh, one downside to this is that you'll kill everything insanely fast to the point where you need void traces. So I highly recommend um, uh, if you're going to be keeping your your ability on, which you can uh, to slow down. If yeah, to uh, slow down on your kills, you could just go on the side of a map like this or something like that. Like go on the side of a map where there's less spawns and just sit around, and just stay put until we get ten, and then go back in. If you don't want to turn off your thing, because uh, of course, when it comes to getting corrupted on your warframe, it gets a little bit tough. But you can, however, uh, li uh, eliminate that uh, that chance by just equipping one weapon. And that way, you're, there's a 50% chance your warframe will be corrupted, and you don't have to worry about uh, uh, trying to get corrupt uh, corrupted a uh, warframe uh, thing on your warframe. So, again, you know, this is made best for a corrupted warframe. Uh, you could still use it without corrupted warframe if you want. Usually on lift and mess, you don't have to use corrupted uh, warframe. Uh, status on that but maybe a Neos you might have to uh, definitely great against uh, Corpus or um, Grenier Infested as well I don't think there's any Infested de uh, defense so uh, that's a, this is a build here for AFKness or Shazen build this is a personal build here so basically I like to play Shazen and entertain uh, other players so this is what I use alright moving on to the next build because I've been talking too much Oh, also forget uh, the uh, the focus tree you want to get is basically for the DPS you want to get Zenric to start off your energy and then Madurai for the uh, for the second build which is the Shazam build here um, for this build which is both forms I think Zenric will be great here because you will be spamming a lot so I'll explain how this works this is very complicated if you guys don't know what these abilities do so the way I do this is this uh, well first off let me show you the mods you need before I even start so my bad guys. Here it is, the Arcane Energize, definitely. Uh, Guardian for sure. It's pretty much the same. Uh, yeah, they're all the same. So, Guardian Energize definitely works here. Um, maybe Guardian you could put in, you could replace Guardian with Barrier if you guys want. It's up to you guys because you will be getting a lot of overshields with this build, okay? So, first off would be the uh, the Augment Mods you need would be Energy Transfer. The way this works is if you press your 4, the charges on that will carry over to the. Uh, uh, other uh, forms. So let's say you have 100% right now with 60,000, right? So if I go ahead and use my form right now, which hopefully I make it in time for the energy. Look at that. I just used Metamorphosis and I still have maintained my charges. So that is the benefit of energy transfer. Now, duality, what that does is basically if you press your, your first ability, you get another Equinox uh, spawn next to you. Basically, like a clone or a specter, and it does like should do should deal the same amount of damage as your weapon. Yeah, I I don't know I don't know if it's well. Yeah, it is. Look at that. See, so 
uh, get a strong ass weapon for your Equinox, and you probably your clone will probably do that amount of damage. All right, so that's Metamorphosis. It only lasts for like uh, 15 seconds. So again, you know you will, you will be spamming Metamorphosis a lot in this uh, build. Okay, just just a heads up for you guys. So again, so how do we use this build now? So um, the way this works is uh, you want to make sure you get a proc on both Growing Power. And actually, let me see. You don't need growing power, maybe. Let me see. Yeah, no, just get an energy. Arcane energy is fine enough, and then just proc it and get a 50% uh, peaceful, uh, peaceful provocation or whatever the ability is called. Okay. Once you get that, go ahead and, and press your four. However, if you guys want extra damage, go ahead and uh, get a proc first. So, energy conversion and growing power before you press your four. That way, you get a little bit more ability strength. Okay. And then once you guys get that. Uh, I think there's a cap on 100% actually. Maybe, I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. But whatever. So, uh, once you get that, uh, go ahead and press your 1. The charges, let me give you some charges here so that way you guys can see a difference. Okay, there we go. 25,000. Alright. Okay. okay. So, press your 1 for metamorphosis. And then, you can now use whatever you want. You can use the first 3 ability. But here's the thing, the peaceful provocation ability got cancelled out, right? But it's still but the ability strength is still added to your, your fourth ability, so it still maintained that fifty percent extra ability strength. Or eighty percent if you if you decide to charge it up a little bit. Okay? After that, uh once you're around this form, which is basically I think it's night form. I don't remember what form it was. Uh I don't I don't i I'm still confused on the form. So at least uh when you start off with your warframe, uh make sure you have the form with that allows you to do uh Mame, I believe, is what the uh, ability is called, or peaceful provocation. That form you want to start off first, and then once you uh, cast your mame and the peaceful provocation ability, then go ahead and switch forms to your other ability. To, uh, yeah, to the other form, and then once you get to this part, now this is the part where you can start to become, where you can start to leave this on for the uh, uh, ability for the overcharge shields for your team. Oh wait, I think I'm. I think I have invincibility on. Let me try that again. Obviously, it doesn't work when we're invincible. Maybe not. Let me see if it does. Okay, there we go. So, obviously, you get overshields and such, right? There we go. So, that's overshields for your team. Now, if you press your three, you get damage reduction. At this form, you get damage reduction, which is fine, which is great. I mean, damage reduction, um, so that way you get... Well, not damage reduction, but enemy do deals less damage. Uh, I don't really use it that much because I kill everybody pretty quickly before they can even shoot at me, right? So, again, this is uh, made for that. You can turn it off if you guys want. I don't. I never use the second ability unless I have to. But you know, throughout this entire, uh, throughout your missions, you will probably no, don't have to use your second ability. Now, during this time, what the way I played is I always spam my metamorphosis to um, to do slash damage against my enemies. So I'm gonna show you guys right now what I mean. So you see that slash proc, right? If I go ahead and switch frames, uh, switch forms, and I do it again, I'm still applying the slash procs, right? So if I keep spamming this, notice that like I am like slashing them without even shooting at them at all. So let's say you guys want to do like um, AOE nukes, right? This is a good good build for that. You don't have to turn off your four at all because that co that's more expensive than than metamorphosis, obviously. Okay, so again, this build is pretty complicated, but if you understand what I'm saying on the order of what how you play this, then obviously you will do a lot better. So that's how I, this is how you roll with that. Uh, again, you know, you could always release the charges on your four if you want to eliminate everybody, or you want to give HP and shields to your allies. So let's go ahead and take a look at the build of the stats, and so we can see on this. All right. So, uh, the stats on this would be, uh, the drain would be 3.5, of, and then drain per second is 3.5, I mean, uh, sorry, drain is 75, uh, 77, and then drain per second is 3.5. And here are the stats for the Pacify and Provoke. Stats for Rest and Rage, if you guys want to use it. Damage vulnerability is at 99%, that's pretty, that's pretty big, I guess, I think, I don't know. I don't really use this ability at all, so you guys don't really have to use this at all if you guys don't want to. 
Now this is the part where this gets really good. So daytime, I don't know. I mean day form, I'm not sure what that is. I think it's the uh, black and I think it's the dark, really dark colors. Uh, I might be wrong. Yeah, I think it's dark colors. Let me see. Yeah, it is dark colors. So if you have black, if you have dark colors on on you, then you're basically uh, day form. Night is white colors. Okay. So uh, day, you get damage multiplier and speed increase. So shoot capacity 297. So again, you know, if you guys use duality. Uh, you will spam this a lot and you'll get all these benefits every time. So it's pretty good. It's actually pretty good So those are the three builds for you guys uh, Obviously, I will have to do a demo so you guys can see the potential of these uh, builds. So I'm gonna do all three uh, demos right here uh, hopefully um, You guys like this video Hopefully the guide help you guys a lot about understanding how Equinox work and how much potential it has because it could be both a support and a nuclear uh, and a nuclear slash DPS all right, so uh, give it a like if you guys like this video uh, subscribe to support my channel. The three demos that's coming up will be in order of the builds I showed you right here. So the first demo would be the DPS, and then it's going to be the Shazen, and then it's going to be both forms, okay? So, again, thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the next demo, guys, and peace out. You think they clone something a little less ugly? The hunt is on, Tenno. The synthesis scanner is detecting a potential target. Use it. Search for traces of the target. Void creatures. You need them to open a relic, but are you confident? Stand their fury. Sure. Defend yourself and use reactive to open relics. Use that reactive to open a relic. You are going to need more reactant if you want to open that relic. Nobody knows you're here. The cracked open. Finish your mission to find out what's inside. The enemy is broken. Well done. Now get to extraction. For synthesis. Tame this creature so you may perform the synthesis I require. You have completed the synthesis I require. Return to the relay to claim your reward. The enemies are dropping reactant. Don't forget the reactant. Need more to open that relic.
the target. Go to the dig site. These corpus remind me of the Orican. Selfish, greedy. That was a close one. Finish your mission and we'll take a look inside. Look what we just uncovered. Ready to go. Keep it powered and protect it from enemy fire. cell. Your hard work has just been rewarded. Extraction if you choose. complete. Look what we found. Excavator deployed. Talk to the unit while it extracts the artifact. A scanner has picked up a target. Go to the dig site. And we're going to need to want to open that relic. 